Hello, little friends, and welcome to Bumblebee Books. Today we are reading a book called Simon Sock, written by Sue Hendra and Paul Linnett, illustrated by Nick East. I hope you like it. Simon is extremely stripy. He lives in the sock drawer with all the other socks. It's very cozy in there. Every morning, all the socks in the drawer get very excited. Who will it be today? Then in comes the hand. Pick me! Pick me! Everybody waits, holding their breath. <gasps> and two socks get picked to go on an adventure. The sparklies go to parties. The woolies go to the park. The smarts go to school. And the sporties go for the burn. Ready, steady, go! Everyone has a turn. Everyone except Simon. I'm not a smelly sock. And I'm not a holy sock. Why don't I ever have a turn? Because you are odd, says Spotty. The other Spotty agrees. Yes, you only get picked if you are a pair. Oh, I didn't realize I was odd, said Simon. Maybe the Spotties are right. If only I was a pair. We could skate, we could bounce, we could hula, we could have so much fun, said Simon sadly. I've got it, shouts Ted, jumping to his feet. I've got a friend and he's stripy just like you, Simon. Come on, he lives in the hall. Simon, this is Alphonse. Alphonse, this is Simon. And everything was going well, until in walked Petra. Oh, silly me, said Ted. I forgot they were already a pair. Don't worry, though, Simon. I have another stripy friend. Simon, meet Shirley, said Ted hopefully. Shirley was very excited, but Simon was a little bit nervous. Squeeze! I'm not sure about this, Ted, said Simon. What about Desmond, said Ted? But Desmond just stared. He's not very chatty, is he, said Simon. No, not really, replied Ted. But we can't give up now. I have lots of stripy friends. What about... Bobby? But I can't swim, whispered Simon. Debra, the stripy bug? She's very tiny, Ted. I might step on her. What about Jeff, said Ted. He's very musical. He's very noisy. Hattie? Too chatty. Trevor? No way. Well, you'll be pleased to know I've saved the best until last, said Ted proudly. Simon, meet... Mr. Twinklepaws! No! Ah! Simon had had enough. It's no good, Ted. I just need to get used to being an odd sock, he said sadly. But then... He heard a voice. It was coming from under the drawers. Hello. Simon couldn't believe it. I found you, he cried. We are a pair. We can skate, we can bounce, we can hula. Come on, said Simon. Let's go out and play. But Simon had other ideas. Oh. I like going out, said a voice. Betty gave Simon a wave. Simon waved back. I like playing, said Betty. So they skated, and they bounced, and they hula hooped. Everyone had to admit that even though they didn't match, they really did make a great pair. So, did you like the story? I hope you did. Please subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up. Now, how about you listen to it in another language? Did you know that learning a language can be as easy as listening to a story? Head over to my channel or ask your mom or dad to help you get there and listen to Simon Sock in Portuguese. Can you try to hear the word meia? Sock in Portuguese is meia. Check out this image for a few words and try to listen to them in the story. Today, in Portuguese, is hoje. A mão goes for hand. Escola for school. 
If you want to say pear in Portuguese, you say o par. Stripey, you say listrado. Friends, you say amigos. And play, you say brincar. See you next time for another fun book. Bye-bye for now!